hello guys how are you okay in this video I'm going to create a file uploading form and I will show you how can we upload for a file and save in a flash okay in previous video I had created this web application if you missed my previous video please watch them so uh, these things will be clear to you okay so let's start now here we go uh, in dashboard.html here I will create a form for file upload so uh, file upload and here let's create a form form action dashboard root will be dashboard because I am working with dashboard and uh, file uploading will be handled in dashboard uh, defini uh, definition I mean uh, dashboard uh, function okay method post and here I will take enc type as multi part form data okay now here I will create label select file and here input type file okay name file and here I will create a submit button type submit name upload and value upload okay guys this is a form now here let's uh, create diff for error showing so if there is an error, uh, any error we can show here okay sorry for my bad English but I will try my best to uh, use simple words so you can easily understand okay here uh, I am creating a if condition if error okay error is, uh, will be variable that I will pass from uh, init dot pi okay and here and if okay guys please do not brush uh, watch entire video very carefully so you can uh, easily understand everything it won't take much time okay error the class sorry style let's set its color to red okay so if there is an area uh, any error uh, it will be showing here okay okay now here uh, in it dot pi I will work with dashboard okay here we need to set methods first methods post get okay now here I will um, check if the request dot method is post method right so if request dot method equal equal post okay if method is post we will work with form data now here uh, let's set uh, uh, let's uh, create a check if file is available or not in request.files okay so if file not in request.files here we will create error mm, file not selected okay so if the file is not uh, sent from uh, request or files in uh, from form so we will show error there okay now here we will use return and render func uh, render template function okay dashboard.html and here error error okay this is the error variable that i am using here in dashboard okay now here username 
you name okay why i am passing username uh if you uh, watch my previous video it will be clear to you okay because i want to show username in my dashboard page okay guys so as we are sending error here we need to set error default value to none okay now let's create some allowed function uh, allowed extensions for file so allowed exts here text jpeg jpg and png okay these are the four types of file that we are going to accept uh, from the html form okay uh, this is for file security uh, to prevent uh, uh, hackers to upload malicious files okay now here i will create a function check file okay what this function will do this function will check file extension if the file extension is available in allowed x extx uh, then it will return true otherwise it will return false okay if it returns false we will show an error and if it's true then we will proceed to saving file okay so now here i will use return in file here i will also accept file name okay this will be the file name that we will check okay file and file and here i will use r split r split okay and here i will use one uh, because extension will be in uh, one, uh, second uh, index and you know index starts from zero so it will be second index okay guys and here i will convert it to lower case because here i am using lower case extensions i hope you are understanding what i am saying and please like and share my video if you did not uh, subscribe yet so please subscribe my channel I hope you can benefit from my videos. Okay, guys, this is check uh, function. It's done. Now here, here. Okay. Now here, here. Let's uh, set file request dot um, files. file okay this is a file object okay and here file name and this will be file dot file name okay uh, this file name will be used to pass to uh, html template and it will be used also for checking extension okay guys now here let's create a check for uh, if the file is uh, available and it's if it's uh, allowed okay so for this i will first check if file name is empty we will throw error here file name is empty okay and here i will use return render template dashboard.html username new name error error okay now here our final check will be uh, checking file extension if file name sorry if check file file name okay equal equal 
false then here we will throw error this file is not allowed okay and here we will again return render template and dashboard.html username you name error error okay now our uh, last part is to save the file because all the checks are done if the file pass all these checks then we will save file so for that i will use file.save okay here i will use os.path.join okay and i'm going to upload in this uh, uploads folder so here i will set my application is in var www html web uploads folder okay this is my application folder web and uploads in my application folder in uploads directory i will save the image oh sorry file <coughs> sorry okay so here file name okay guys if file is saved now here let's send file name to our template so we can uh, show a success message that your file has been saved successfully okay so here file name now as we are sending file name here we need to set file name default value here none okay guys i hope you are understanding what i am saying and what i am doing okay uh, let's uh, get back to dashboard.html here what i am going to do is i will show success message if file has been uploaded otherwise we will show this form again okay so here if file name sorry if file name p style let's set it to Uh, blue and font dash weight bold and font dash size 18 px okay and here i will show file name file name your file has been uploaded okay this is our success message here I will use else then it will be showing form okay guys please uh, subscribe my channel if you did not subscribe and don't forget to um, and if and don't forget to uh, press bell icon so you will not miss my upcoming videos okay and please check my previous videos i hope you will find them very useful and uh, join me on facebook uh, code work okay facebook.com slash code work okay guys we are done with coding now let's get back to um, checking the application on web browser one more thing i would like to tell you that uh, this uploads folder should have writable permissions okay so don't forget to set it writable right now i have to restart my apache why i am restarting my apache if you pre uh, watch my previous video in this playlist you will understand why i am restarting my apache okay because this is production production environment and this was the application that i had created in previous video okay so here login null one test test okay this is our dashboard and here i will select file let's select this open uh, wait 
let me show you error message first if i don't select any file i will uh, press this button and i will see an error here you can see file name is empty right uh, here we had created this check you can see this was the check okay now let's upload some file here i will upload okay something is wrong let me see so tail war log apache2 error.log let me see what mistake i did no such file and directory okay so let me see here file.save and os.path.join war www okay i had used a uh, wrong folder which was uh, upload but i have to upload in uploads folder okay i had missed this s now let's get back to browser sorry okay here let me restart my apache and here we go it will work perfect now okay here i select this file and upload and you can see file has been uploaded successfully so it means it worked let's verify it here we go in uploads folder you can see the file has been saved i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe me and i will keep uh, working for you and i will do my best to show you best stuff in upcoming videos okay guys take care goodbye see you in next video bye bye